feel my heart saying hi in this whole luncheonette why am i the only one who sees your beautiful no i mean handsome Just right clothes you're wearing, your short hair and your dungarees and your lace-up boots and your keys, oh, your ring of keys. I know you. I know. Well, when I, when I got the call about someone wanting to turn my book into a musical, I thought it was just insane, you know? <laughs> uh, but I said yes, in some ways, because I've, I'm quite naive about theater and, and musical theater in particular. Like, sure, fine. Uh, <laughs> so if I, if I had known more, maybe I would have been more skeptical. I'm scared. Am I falling into nothingness or flying into something so sublime? I don't know, but I'm changing my major to dawn. I thought all my life I'd be all alone, but that was before I was lost. There's the, the things that are pushing against what I look for in a musical, and I think intellectually now I can, I can say it where it's probably visceral at first, is you're looking for things that are pushing against each other. Some, someone, everyone, it's a primal need to have connection. We're, we're hardwired for connection, and when we don't have it, it's painful. And, and I, I think that the time musically was so interesting in the way that families were uh, what the, the point of connection that is desired and the lack, what's pushing against it so it doesn't happen is where the music I knew would sing. We look to the book for the essence of the story. And then we have to invent something new for two reasons. One is that for an adaptation to feel like it, ha it has to have its own integrity. It, you can't make something that is... Um, a second generation version of a thing. It ha you have to find a new uh, core, a new originating impulse, and then they'll be parallel and related, but you, 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 I mean, if for no other reason, then you want both people who, you want people who have read the book and love the book to come and say, yes, yes, that's the thing I love, and you want people who've never seen it to come and say, I'm having a full experience of this thing. Today I woke up with a feeling that I did not recognize Oh, a happy life seemed far away and everything was made of lies The sky was turning dark when, baby, I looked in your eyes And that's when I knew novel you're you're faced with three kinds of information simultaneously just on one page you have the information and the and the conflict within the frame of the image you have what the characters in the image are saying in the bubble and you have the caption and that's just in one frame and then you have the way it progresses frame to frame and in this graphic novel it's bouncing around in multiple time periods and multi 
multiple stories are happening and weaving simultaneously. And trying to crack that and do that was very enticing to me because as a director, I was needed uh, because so much of it was gonna happen in juxtaposition, it wasn't gonna be on the page. You were gonna have to see multiple things up against each other and the staging was going to have to tell a certain amount of the story. I didn't want to somehow be trying to reach back to, to represent some past person because so much of, what, of the way the play exists on whichever level, you know, whether you're in the, the small Allison era or the college age Allison era, um, it feels like it has to be really truly present in, in your, your absolute present. I can't abide romantic here, notions and of some they long ago. I want to know, know what's, what's true, true to deep into who and what and why and when. And why and when. 